Coming up in this video. The Basilica is approached by a St. Peter's Square, a forecourt. The central space is dominated by one of the largest domes in the world. Going up St. Peter's Dome is an extraordinary experience. You can see the Basilica in a whole new way. You also get a stunning view of St. Peter's Square below. Entry to the Basilica is free but you need to pay a fee, if you want to visit the dome. You can spot the security line on the right-hand side of St. Peter's Square under the pillars. Make sure to get there before 8 a.m. to avoid crowds. You will find the queue to the dome ticket office near the entrance doors of the basilica on the left side. The facade of the basilica, with a giant order of columns, stretches across the end of the square and is approached by steps on which stand the statues of Saints Peter and Paul. We were there early but we could see about 40 people already standing in front of us. The dome ticket kiosk opens at 8 am. It is located directly below the Charlemagne statue. There are two levels going up. The first level can be reached by climbing 231 stairs or by the elevator. The second level can only be reached by climbing 320 stairs through a narrow single file staircase. We took the elevator, the ticket costed 10 euros per person. You can see the entrance door on the right side while standing in the queue and facing the ticket office. After buying the ticket walk back to the door. Once inside you will feel the grandeur of the basilica, more on that later. Continue in the line towards the elevator. At level 1, you can walk out onto the roof of the basilica to the front and see the statues of Jesus and the apostles. These are the statues you see on the roof of the basilica when you look at it from the square. From here you can climb some more steps to be inside the dome. Once you are up, you can see the beautiful mosaics that line the walls. The drum is 65.6 feet high and contains 16 windows. Above the windows, the dome is divided into 16 ribs. If you continue walking you can find the staircase that takes you to the second level. Warning, if you have health issues or are claustrophobic, you need to skip this. St. Peter's tomb is supposedly directly below the high altar of the basilica. St. Peter's baldachin is a large baroque sculpted bronze canopy over the high altar. It is at the center of the crossing, and directly under the dome of the basilica. Directly below the dome, is the Latin inscription, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and to you, I will give the keys of the kingdom of heaven. On the left transept is the inscription, a third time, Jesus asked him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes Lord, Peter said, you know that I love you. On the right transept is the inscription. Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. 
Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon son of Jonah. No mere man has revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. On the internal sides of the four pillars is the inscription. Hence a single faith shines throughout the world. Hence arises the unity of the priesthood. The chair of Saint Peter, a wooden throne, is a relic that tradition claims belonged to the Saint Peter. The relic is enclosed in a sculpted gilt bronze casing designed by Bernini. Above the chair are two angels bearing the tiara and keys. Host of angels can be seen among rays of light and gigantic billowing clouds. In their midst is the Bohemian glass window, divided into twelve sections as a tribute to the twelve apostles, the Holy Spirit stands out against it. Michelangelo's La Pieta is a marble sculpture of Jesus and Mary at Mount Golgotha representing the sixth sorrow of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It captures the moment when Jesus, taken down from the cross, is given to his mother Mary. On the median aisle is the inscription, I have prayed for you Peter, that your faith may never fail and you in turn must strengthen your brothers. The entire interior of St. Peter's is lavishly decorated with marble, reliefs, architectural sculpture and gilding.